Hi, it's Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I wanted to cram in a couple of sample Sundays before my surgery comes. I'm way overdue for this sample Sunday, but I did try a lot of stuff, and so I do have stuff to talk to you about. Plus, I have more samples here, which rather than go into my bin, I'm going to just take those out. Okay, so um, <laughs> I tried all this stuff. Okay, and everything, I try to put everything in the bag when I try it, and um, <laughs> it, it kind of outgrew itself. So, there are a few things that I did not try, but um, life has been a little bit wacky. I can tell you that right now. Okay, so let's pull this out. This is Volume Spray Volumizer, and this is by Ue. Uh, it's spelled O-U-A-I. I believe that's how you say it, away. This is almost a full ounce. You can see I used quite a bit of it. Um, and I think that this is going to go right into, uh, rather than put it in my little treasures, I think I'm just going to put this right out on my vanity so I can use it because I like it that much. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to keep that handy. And this is a toner by a car. And I did really like this. I shot it right into my hand like I do my other um, Korean skincare toners. And it just, it felt really, really nice. Now I do have two of these. I think I put both in these. Yes, I did. Good. Okay, so I do have two of these. I don't know which one I opened. Probably the one that's all banged up. But I did really like it. These will go into my tiny treasures. Well, they'll eventually get to the tiny treasures <laughs> level. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, and I also had this Amor Pacific Treatment Cleansing Foam. And it's basically a face wash. Let me get it out. I did not use it all up. I don't it's this is really just a try it thing so this is going to go into the box where i keep my tiny treasures in waiting and i did really like it i didn't think it was like revolutionary and i know this is not a cruelty free brand i think Uwe the other item is and i think a car might be i know this is not um so i like it but i and i'll finish it happily but I, I just will never purchase that. So I'll, actually I should just put this in my tiny treasures box too. Okay, and then there was this Curology. It says moisturizer on it, but it's actually a face wash. They did mislabel some things and we were informed of that um, by, I think it was Allure Beauty Box let us know that they, there were some things that were switched out and I rubbed this on my hand and it started to foam up a little so I knew right away that I had the face wash. I did finish this, there wasn't a lot in it. I did like it, but I didn't feel it was revolutionary. Another thing I tried that is not empty is this Acure Ultra Hydrating 12 Hour Facial Moisturizer. The thing I feel about these things, once they're open, the clock starts ticking, and that's why I like to move things into my tiny treasures and waiting box that I have, um, because I know that I have to use these things up. This was very nice. It was much nicer than I thought it was going to be, and I just really thought it was wonderful. For now, I'm going to put it in the tiny treasures and waiting box. Okay, this Triple Action Number 7 Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. This was so nice, I would consider buying it. Um, but I have so much stuff. This may go on my list of things to buy in the future. I, I really did enjoy this. And it's Number 7 Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum. It is really, really nice. That's everything that was in that bag, with the exception of this Toka um, cologne. This was so beautiful. This one is the Florence one. This is so freaking beautiful that I want to buy a bottle of it. It's 
absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, it has, it says a Parisian sophisticated Italian bergamot and crushed violet petals paired with rich gardenia and sophisticated blonde woods. Now, it is a slightly woodsy, flowery scent, and it's just freaking gorgeous. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Okay, and I used the CC 10-in-1 Complete Correction. I think I have another one of these in my box of stuff. I liked this enough to definitely, it's a leave-in hair thing, to definitely um, continue to use this. And I'm pretty sure I have a 10-in-1 Complete Correction, um, the Caviar Alterna Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector in my box of samples. And I'll just have to look for that. This was really nice, and I really like it. Now, there were things I did not try. And I think I may carry some of them over and may not. This... Uh, enlightened dark spot. I don't have a lot of dark spots. I think I'm going to declutter this and see if my daughter wants to try it. Um, yeah, it's very tightly sealed. I'm going to see if she wants it. If she doesn't want it, then you'll see it appear again in my collection. Okay, another thing I'm going to declutter because I keep putting it in here. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, hell. I, I hate to declutter a pure lease thing. And gently, let me just read the label. Mud mask exfoliant gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens. 10 minute facial. I, I think I should leave it in here. Okay, there were a couple other things in here um, that I didn't try. This this would have been so easy to try, but anyway, this is um, just a sample of the Primera Wild Seed Firming Serum. And uh, I'm going to leave that in here. I just have to remember that it's there. Then there is this Dr. Brandt Needles No More, and this is for around your wrinkly areas, and I did not open it or try it. Um, I wonder if the if it's outdated yet. It's been around for a while, knocking around between my daughter and I. This is a face oil by Burt's Bees. I have not tried this yet, so and I do want to try that, so I'm going to leave that in there. Now, this is a box of samples that my daughter gave me. She did an order on, I believe it was Yes Style, and they included this sample bunch. And... It's all stuff that I definitely want to try, so I'm going to keep that box of samples in here. Now, to the things that I'm going to be adding, I'm going to add the things that I got um, as samples for buying something from Storyvacuum. Okay, um, one of them, let's see, is the Requench Water Cream with Hyaluronic Acid, and it is Nia 114, so it's got niacin in it didn't like everything else that they uh, produce. Also, there's an anti-wrinkle intensive eye concentrate. I thought I had a... Yeah, there is a sunscreen. Um, then there is a packet of anti-wrinkle blue light... Blue? Let's see. It's an eye thing and it says blue factor. I guess it... Whoops! I guess it stops blue light from damaging your eye area. I think that's kind of a lot of hogwash, but I'll try it. It might feel good. And there's one more thing in here, and this is the thing I'm most interested in. And this is one thing that I would shell out the money and buy, and this is a Strivectin Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, it says clear, clear finish, so we'll see how clear it is. If I like this, this is one of those things that I would not hesitate to buy. I think the price on that is like pretty decent. So anyway, so this came with those four samples. Maybe I'll hold on to that. Okay, and then I bought something for my daughter for her birthday and I got, um, I spent so much money <laughs> that I got a sample bag. Let's see if I can open this without tearing the bag apart. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I'll start just by pulling stuff out. Uh, this is Drunk Elephant Power Player, and it's just a sample packet, but it, you know, it's good to try a sample, see if it sets your face on fire, then you know you can't use it. And it came with a clean cologne sample. I do love the clean um, line of colognes. So I'll give that a try. I wanted to put a scent in here anyway. So then there is CBD body lotion, whole plant formula. Hmm. It's by Lord Jones for your highness Royal. <laughs> I kind of love that. <laughs> so anyway, we'll give that a try. And then there is summer Fridays. Serum. Is this that Saturday Friday stuff? It says Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I'm not sure. I think it might be that brand might be actually called Summer Fridays. Then there is Cora's Foaming Cream Cleanser. I already have a full size of this, but I will absolutely joyfully use that. Then there is this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. It seems like more than one use in this packet, but we'll see. Um, then there is this Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Face Wash. I'm going to declutter this and give it to my daughter because I already tried it and didn't really like it. Um, okay, and this is Tata Harper Water Lock Moisturizer. Um, yeah, okay, I'll give that a try. I, you know, I'll decide at some point that there are things I just don't want. Ooh, primer. This is Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. <laughs> cool. And finally, the very last thing in here is a pretty good size, and it's Biosan Squalane Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. I don't know how strong it is as far as the lactic acid goes, but I do know that I really enjoyed using the um, um, Good Genes Lactic Acid Serum. So, yeah, so I think I am really going to look forward to that. So... I think that's a good number of things. Quite a few. I think it's more than 10 items. Yeah, it's got to be more than 10. I like to try to keep it around 10 items because that's manageable. So I will just do my best to go through these and hopefully get more than 10 used, tried, whatever, um, and let you know next Sunday how I feel about all this stuff. All right. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary with the newest Sample Sunday box.